I want to show you how you can use the sum product function in Excel to compute expected return and variance. Now, we know that the expected return is going to be equal to the probability times the return in the state of the world, then you're going to sum them all up, right? When you have different probabilities assigned to each return, you can't add them up and divide by the number of observations. That doesn't work. Right, because you'll be weighting some too much and some too little. So what you have to do is multiply the probability by the return. Okay, And you can think of this like uh, calculating your average grade for a course. 10% for homework, 20% for the first term paper, 15% for class participation, etc. If they're different weights, you can't just add them all up and say, well, I had 90 in this and 70 in that and 80 in that and divide by the number of um, different grades you have. You're going to have to multiply by the probabilities. Now, we, there's a function called sum product. And you can find these additional functions by going up here where you see the big summation sign and using the drop down menu. And if you hit more functions, you can look and there's a whole bunch of things. This happens to be under the math trig function. And you can scroll down and you can see there's something called sum product. If you don't know what that does exactly, you can hit the help function and it will explain exactly what it does. All right, so let's see if we can do this. Let's do this longhand and then we'll do it using the sum product function key. Go. Okay, so here we have the probability times the return, and we'll do that for each state of the world. So I'm going to take B5 and multiply it by C5. And then if I'll just copy this down, so this would be 20% times minus 4%, etc. And if we wanted to calculate this expected return, we would sum this up, and we can just use the summation sign here and we get 5.60%. Another way to do it is to use that sum product key. What it does is it will multiply each one of these and then add them up. And you can have actually more than two, two um, columns of numbers. It could multiply three, four, five, etc. So here's what the function looks like. So you type in sum product and it's kind of small down here, but it says put in array 1, array 2, array 3. So we'll put in the first array as the probabilities, okay, separated by a comma. Then we'll put in the second array as the returns. And then we'll close up that parenthesis and hit return, and we get exactly the same return. Now, if we wanted to calculate the variance, we could do this. We know the variance is equal to the squared deviations for each value times the probability of that state. So I'm going to do the squared deviations here. So this is going to be what's in cell C9. I'm sorry, not C9, C5 minus what's in D. 11, okay, put the dollar sign in so when I copy down it doesn't change, and I'm going to square it. And I'm going to copy the, this formula all the way down for the uh, five different um, states of the world. And then over here, we can, again, multiply the probability times this um, squared deviation. So let's see what we have here. So we'll have B5 times E5, and again I'll just copy that down, and if we add them up, that should give us the variance. Okay. Similarly, we could use the sum product key, now that we have these square deviations, to multiply this times this and add them up. So let's see how that works. And the first array is going to be the probability. And 
the second array is going to be the um, square deviations and close up the parenthesis and let's see if we get the same number in fact we do so here we have the expected return the variance and it's not too difficult to do in Excel but it sort of saves you a step here for the expected return you don't have to multiply these together you can simply use the sum product key to do it so and likewise with the um, calculation for the variance so this is a kind of useful function for doing this type of uh, calculation.